This is Lloyd Minnick here with 10 Acre Organics. I'm going to be giving you a tour of our aquaponics systems at our urban micro farm in Austin, Texas. This is the first aquaponics system that Michael and I built um, in late 2012. It really came online in early 2013. And it's a pretty straightforward uh, continuous flow media bed system. That's our fish tank in there. Those are our media beds where we're growing romaine lettuce right now. This is just uh, an extra tub of the grow media that we used and it's a combination of pink granite and hydrogen. We started with hydrogen because it has a really high surface area to weight ratio lots of surface area for nitrifying bacteria to live on in the media beds but ultimately it was too expensive and we started mixing in granite. The sump tank is down here. This is the low point in the system to which all the water flows from each of the media beds and from the fish tank. The pump is located in there and the pump continuously pumps uh, in two loops. One to the fish tank and uh, the other loop goes to all four media beds simultaneously. The water enters the fish tank right there and we can control the flow. The water flows out of the fish tank right there, uh, drawing from the bottom of the tank uh, so as to efficiently remove the solid fish waste. See if we can see some of the fish. They've already eaten today, so they aren't going to be that hungry. But anyway, we'll come back to that. The uh, pump splits there and you can see this loop coming to the fish tank here. The other loop is going to each of these beds. We control the flow going into each bed to try to make them all equal with simple ball valves. And the water entering actually goes through a distribution manifold around the perimeter. There I've uncovered part of it so you can see. And uh, it's just one inch PVC pipe uh, with a number of holes along the bottom around the perimeter of the bed and that forces the water to come in from all sides so we get a nice uh, even flow uh, throughout the whole bed. Water overflows down the standpipe there in the middle and this outer pipe is just a gravel guard. It's perforated along the bottom to let the water pass through but uh, keeps the, the grow media out. Pretty simple system, and uh, I would definitely recommend a, a media bed system like this for anybody building their first aquaponics system. And um, I would recommend continuous flow like this for the sake of simplicity. Some people like to use flood and drain systems, but we found that there's actually not any uh, discernible advantage to a flood and drain system over a continuous flow system and they're more, they're more complicated uh, to construct. Anyway, after building this system, uh, inspired by some of our initial success with it, we raised money through a Kickstarter campaign to build this second aquaponics system, significantly larger. And here we have a hybrid system, meaning that we grow plants with a raft, floating raft method, also called deep water method or deep water culture as well as media beds where we grow uh, larger fruiting crops. Our fish tank is over here in a shed that we built. And again, these fish have already eaten today, so they may not be that active, but I'll try to throw them a little bit of food anyway. This 
is a thousand gallon fish tank and we have uh, just over 300 tilapia in this tank. The water enters here at a tangential angle so that we can try to get some continuous, uh, some circular flow. Uh, we have an air manifold around the perimeter. We use an air blower to uh, keep our dissolved oxygen levels where they need to be. And then in the center there, that's uh, it's uh, it's just basically a drain guard. The drain is at the bottom center of the tank, and, and that pipe just keeps the fish and, and um, feed from, from going into the drain. The water flows out of a center bottom drain in the fish tank and then travels underground. Comes up through this pipe here into our swirl separator. And this is our first stage of solids filtration. Basically the water comes in at an angle, swirls around slowly, causing the majority of the solids to settle at the bottom of the tank which then we can purge on a daily basis. Like so. See our water pump back there and our air blower. The water gravity feeds out of the swirl separator where it then falls through these net filters to remove some of the finer solids. And then the water has to travel through a series of uh, Matala filters, which are essentially just a, a biofilter. A lot, of, a lot of space in there for bacteria to colonize. To get out some of the finer solids and begin some of the uh, nitrification process, and then the pump draws from right there, where it pumps in three loops. One to the fish tank, second loop to these media beds, which, like in the other system, um, enter each bed through a, a distribution manifold, and we control the flow with ball valves. And the third loop goes out into the raft bays. Water enters this bay at the far end, uh, overflows into that bay, and here, the water exits the bay through a stand pipe there. That pipe that you see in there is uh, an air distribution manifold. We, uh, we have these air stones throughout the bay to uh, keep, again, keep the dissolved oxygen levels where we want them for our uh, beneficial bacteria. As you can see, the roots on these rafts get pretty long. We do all of our harvesting on one end and all of our planting on another and whenever we harvest the raft we're able to just remove the raft and slide the rest of the rafts down and uh, operate it like a conveyor belt. We start all of our seedlings indoors under lights in seed trays like this in coconut uh, coir plugs, which then we transplant, do a little plastic cup like this, and put into the raft. On the far end, after we harvest all the plants, we clean the little net pots, clean the rafts before putting them back in. I'll mention that uh, all of the solids that we capture from the swirl separator and from the net filters don't go to waste. They go into another tank, a buried tank over here called the mineralization tank. It's basically an aerobic biodigester. We, it's heavily aerated um, and we put all the solid waste in there and the, uh, the turbulent uh, heavily oxygenated water uh, breaks the, the solid waste down and, and creates uh, uh, an environment for uh, the heterotrophic bacteria 
that break those solids down into dissolved nutrient, which then we uh, skim off the top and put back into the system. On the roof of our greenhouse, we have these ridge vents that open and close via these hydraulic valves, these, uh, the, the silver arm thing that you see is non-electrical, it's just hydraulic and uh, opens and closes based on the temperature. Um, as, as that hydraulic fluid inside gets warm, it expands and opens and as it cools off, it closes. So it's a, it's a passive system and the ridge vents combined with our roll-up sidewalls allow us to get uh, as much natural ventilation as possible. In the summer, we, we drape a reflective shade cloth over the structure. The roll-up side walls are just held up by this pretty simple little hook which can swivel to get out of the way if we need to lower the, the side walls. And there you have it. That is aquaponics system number two. Aquaponics system number one. And the rest of our backyard, which includes the chicken coop, the beehives, the field crops, and in the far corner, a composting system. I hope you've enjoyed the tour. Again, I'm Lloyd Minnick, this is 10 Acre Organics, and these are our first prototypes of uh, our aquaponic system design. Thank you.